Out of the new movies, Rey is probably the most intriguing one, since we know very little about her backstory. So today, I'm going to break down who I think her parents are. Now, there's three main theories for who her parents are, and you can guess that there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this video, so if you haven't seen Force Awakens, then you ought to, because I'm going to spoil all this movie. For a start, we need to find out qualities of Rey that would fit in with her parents as well. For a start, let's look at her physical appearance, brown hair and brown eyes. And also, she's human, which means at least one of the parents must have dark hair, one must have brown eyes, and one must be human. Yeah, you never know, she could have alien parents. Second, there has to be a story reason for why she's on Jakku. In The Force Awakens, all we know is that at a very young age, she was dropped off on Jakku. We never knew who her parents were, but we can assume that Jakku has something to do with her parents. And lastly, she has to have a huge connection with the Force. Why? Well, because Rey is very strong with the Force. And it would have to be a rather strong Force user as her parents. So, let's go through the three main options. The first one is Obi-Wan Kenobi. For a start, Obi-Wan Kenobi has blue eyes and dark hair. Also, can I point out, Obi-Wan Kenobi, at the time of this, is dead. Dead before Rey was born. Now, some people argue for the grandchild part, but to be honest, I don't see why Star Wars would put this in here. Sure, it explains the Force bit, but other than that, there's no explanation to any of this. I mean, a grandfather just doesn't make any sense. So, it's definitely... A far more likely option is Han and Leia. Now, for a start... Leia is human, has brown eyes, and has dark hair. She also has a Skywalker line, so she has a strong connection with the Force, naturally. However, as for story reasons, the only real hint we have is that the Millennium Falcons on Jakku. But, this is the weird thing. Han Solo's already dead. It'd be weird to reveal that Han's her dad after he's already died. I just feel that this doesn't really make much sense in terms of story, unless they didn't plan it at all. However, I'm guessing they have planned this all out, so... I don't really think that these two are Rey's parents, especially since they've already had one child. This is my personal opinion on who Rey's father is, Luke. Now, you're forgetting... He is not a conditional Jedi like Obi-Wan is, which means he probably doesn't have the vows of love like Obi-Wan and Mace Windu and other Jedi would. So, if Luke fell in love, it would make sense. And since we don't actually know who the mother is, it could be that they had dark hair and brown eyes. But, however, Luke does have dark-ish hair, and also he is human, so... That's very close there. One other thing is he is far stronger in the Force than Leia is. And if he married someone Force-sensitive, then it would make sense. In fact, I actually have something else that they may do. Mara Jade Skywalker is an extended universe character, meaning she's not ca uh, canon. However, they did have children with each other in various comics and novels. She has brown eyes and a, also a Force connection. In that case, Rey's connection with the Force would be even stronger and it would make sense how she has dark hair and brown eyes. As for story reasons, it makes perfect sense. The fact is we still don't know who the mother is, so it could be she was killed by Ben Solo. Since Luke felt bad about Ben Solo, he went into hiding. And in doing so, he left his daughter on hiding. However, there's one other thing which came up, which I actually thought maybe helps this. An old ally of the Resistance, named Lor Santeca, lives also on Jakku. And his village is reasonably close to where Rey lives. Coincidence? I think not. Lor Santeca is a rather important character in this movie for only being in the first two or three minutes. Yeah, not very impressive for Max von Sydow. I mean, why else 
would a friend of Luke's be on the planet that Rey is, a Force-sensitive character who uses Luke's lightsaber? If you don't know, Luke's blue lightsaber was also used by Anakin Skywalker, so if it's passed down from generations, it would make sense. Anyway, this is my personal opinion. You could believe whatever you want to believe. Maybe she isn't Luke's daughter, maybe she or Obi-Wan Kenobi and someone he met while in hiding. Or maybe it was Ezra from Star Wars Rebels. Or Ahsoka from the show of the same name. Or maybe Snow, the Four, Jar Jar. Or maybe she's simply a new character who we just don't know a lot about yet. The fact is, the earliest we'll hear about it is next year, and the latest, 2019. So there's no point in making theory videos right now, but this is just my current belief on it. In the meantime, let's get hyped for Civil War, Rogue One, Rebels, and whatever else you want to get hyped for. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you did, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye